Dobermans are very unique and quite amazing dogs. They're one of the most trainable dog breeds in the world. They're extremely owner focused and very manageable with the right kind of consistent training. But there's one problem that Dobermans have and they've kind of become known for it. And it's arguably one of the most difficult times of owning a Doberman. It's when they hit puberty, which is usually right around seven to nine months of age or so. As an owner, this is right after you just got through the terror of the teething and puppy biting and nipping stage. It's kind of starting to go away and you think all is good. Then you get hit hard by the reality of owning a Doberman during the teenage phase. And today we're going over the behavioral problems that Dobermans often have during this notoriously difficult phase for Dobermans, how bad it can get, and what you should do about each one, right here at Doberman Planet. Male Dobermans especially, but females also at times, can experience a regression in potty training when they hit puberty. In other words, you thought your Doberman was fully potty trained and they're trustworthy in the house. Maybe they bark at the door when they need to go or they ring some doorbells or something that are hanging from the door, but now they're starting to have accidents inside the house again. Super frustrating. I've seen this so many times with Doberman owners that I coach. Their puppy is often fully potty trained at 12 weeks of age, then at around six, seven, eight months old or something, this hits this phase. And during this phase, they just start to pee in the house again. So at this age, their hormones are kicking in. They may also be feeling a little stressed because of you know all these weird feelings that they're having at this time. And they're often feeling the urge to mark their territory as well, which is their den. And yes, unfortunately, that's your house. This is very common for Dobermans at this stage, and it happens a lot more than you might think. And if this happens, this is one where really there's no magic cure. Just simply understand that it's a temporary setback that will likely only last about a month or two at the most. Just stay very consistent with basic potty training principles, and it's okay to go backwards a little bit to a more basic level of potty training to match how your Doberman is regressing. Just start bringing your dog you know, outside to go to the bathroom every few hours again, maybe immediately after eating and drinking, after playing, Playtime immediately after waking up and so on. It might also be a really good idea to see your vet just to rule out any regression of potty training due to some injury or illness you're not aware of. Also, once hormones start peaking at this time with a Doberman, you're also gonna see a very frustrating phase of them purposely ignoring commands that they are trained in and know very well. Dobermans are notorious for this. They are a dominant dog, Drop and when the they're ball. starting to feel a bit more independent and they're testing your boundaries and leadership, this is a time that they're gonna try this. So, for example, you might tell your dog to come or to sit or drop something, and they're just gonna sit there staring at you and looking at you with this attitude of like, yeah, what are you gonna do about it? And no, they're not broken. Your Doby's just testing your limits. And now more than ever, it's so critical to be a consistent, calm and strong leader to your Doberman. This is a phase where these dogs really learn how much they can push things inside your house. So it's important to maintain the exact same expectations of your Doberman as when they're going through this phase as any other time. Yes, even if you're tired, even if you've worked late, even if they're not responding to a simple command and you desperately just want to let it happen just this one time and let them get away with it because you're tired. But don't do it, enforce your expectations calmly, but yes, consistently. If you tell your Doberman to come and they look back at you with that glance, just calmly walk, walk over to them with a leash, clip it on and guide them over to the exact same spot you gave the come command from. Have them sit in that spot and give them some praise like you normally would give them for listening to your command. No more, no less. Stay consistent and calm. And remember, this is just a temporary phase. Trust me, you'll get through it soon. Dobermans love to become more demanding during this phase after puberty as well. This can look something like forcing themselves into your lap when you're watching TV or barking at you from the other side of a barrier in the house or even crying in their crate at night when they had stopped doing that months ago and you were just sure that they were past that crate crying stage. For the dominant Dobermans, this is super common. And you poor work from home people, I just, I really feel for you here because you really get to feel this when this hits. So just say goodbye to your quiet Zoom meetings and your Zoom calls and your quick phone calls to your boss. If you're ignoring your pubescent Doberman, you're going to get a piece of their mind. This is a form of pushing back against their boundaries in the household. And let's be honest, what do Dobermans love more than anything? 
being close to their owners and getting attention from their owners. So that's why this more demanding stage is just so common with Dobermans specifically. So what should you do about it? Well, the method that seems to work the best for Dobermans is to make their very strong habit forming instincts work to your advantage. In other words, if your goal is to get your Doberman to stop their needy barking while you're working from home, while they're, let's say, in a pen, then start by setting yourself up for success. Tie your Doberman out, get him or her a good puzzle toy, feed them, put them in their pen, and then start to work. Now, here's the key. Get back to your Doberman and open the pen casually before they start crying or barking. Even if it's just after a few minutes at first, then later that day, do it again, maybe for a little bit longer, then a little bit longer yet again, and so on. Every time you do this successfully without them crying or barking or yelping for your attention, it's a win in your favor. And not barking is becoming the new habit. So I like to look at it like a needle. You just made a good habit. Now let's just say, oops, you pushed it again a little too far and your dog cries or barks before you let them out. That's a loss. Now you're building a new worse habit in the other direction. So get really good at reading your dog's other signals, reading their general situation of that day, and just kind of knowing how far you can push it. Don't push it too far. So like, don't get too excited when you first try this and you finally getting like 10 minutes of quiet time. Let them out before they, this major win that's going in your favor starts to instead become a loss going the other direction. Another very common behavior this natural protection breed experiences around puberty time is excessive barking and just general reactivity things. It could be someone just walking by your house, or it could be leash reactivity to other dogs or people. This happens often in Dobermans, but we did a recent study at Doberman Planet that showed that this behavior is actually more common in female Dobermans than males. And actually, we'll link to that study down below in the sources section of this video if you want to take a look at that study. Now, with their hormones kicking in, they're just starting to realize what their primary purpose is in this world, is to keep you safe. And along with that comes these barking issues, unfortunately. So now there's a whole science to addressing excessive barking depending on what the specific triggers are, but it usually involves some form of desensitization and reassociation training. Oh, and this is where we get to find out if your socialization efforts, you know, when your dog was really young, like under 16 weeks of age, was enough. A well-socialized dog is gonna have a lot less issues here. So how'd you do with your socialization? Were you on top of it? I sure hope so. You may have already guessed it, but general dominant behavior tends to become an issue right here after puberty with Dobermans. This can be with small things like pushing boundaries in the house, or it can get a lot more ugly, like being overly dominant with other dogs at a dog park and causing issues or fights. This is where it's gonna be really important that you're a great leader to your Doberman and really give them the guidance that they're craving at this age. You want them to naturally just kind of get used to looking to you for consistent, calm direction. And if you want help with that, I did a really cool video all about being a leader for your Doberman that's incredible incredibly important for any owner of a Doberman who's going through this phase. Uh, like seriously, maybe even watch this a few times. It's one of the most important videos I've done and it should be popping up right there in the corner of your screen. Plus you get to see me juggle for my Doberman in the opening scene of that video too. No CGI either, that's all just my awesome juggling skills. Unfortunately, this age of adolescence for Dobermans also statistically correlates with a peak at the age at which dogs are given up to shelters the most. Why? Because this is a very difficult time for a lot of dog breeds. But with a dominant, intelligent dog like the Doberman, this stage is just so much more demanding and just plain difficult on the owners. So just please understand that this phase is coming if you haven't gotten there yet. And more importantly, understand that this is just a passing phase that only lasts maybe two or three months or so, sometimes a lot less, especially with female Dobermans. Please don't forget to subscribe down below, guys. Hit that like button. That's a great way to support us too. And I'd love to hear from you Doby owners out there as to what specific behaviors you've noticed from your dog around the time they hit puberty. Just drop that in a comment down below. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Please keep being great Doberman breed ambassadors. Spread the word about how amazing and really unique this dog breed is. And, of course, I'll see you on the next one.